Project One Voice would like to change that with your help. Project One Voice is a national grassroots movement dedicated to cultivate and support artistic excellence, innovation, and creativity among African American theater organizations, along with preserving their legacies and those of African American playwrights. On June 20th of this year, Project One Voice will present its inaugural event, a one-day play reading of the Alice Childress classic, Trouble in Mind. This reading in theaters across the country will promote awareness and raise much needed funds for these struggling theater organizations. It is our sincerest hope that through our efforts, there will not only be a renewed interest in the brilliance of American playwrights like Alice Childress, but there will also be a preservation of the legacies of these playwrights and theater organizations for generations to come. One voice, one play, one day. June 20th, Project One Voice. Tomorrow's starting now. I grew up going to um, traditionally black theaters and African American theaters like the New Federal Theater and the Negro Ensemble and the Billie Holiday Theater. It's really the foundation uh, um, in my personal journey in, in this business. And it's really unfortunate that over the course of the years, many of the theaters that have been the bedrock of our community are disappearing, and which means that there isn't a home for African-American writers and actors and um, directors and scenic designers and costume designers to really hone their craft. I think it's always important for us to remind ourselves that we're still there and we're still active and we're still creating work that's vibrant and important. And I think it's important for us to remind ourselves that there's a diversity of voices that need to be recognized. Um, and it's something that we've, we've lost a lot of today. We don't, we don't have that community-based theater. Uh, the funding for it has, has dried up. Uh, it was drying up for a while, but immensely now. Earlier on in my, uh, in my life, in my career, there were more things like that for black people. There were more uh, funds available, you know, the uh, National Endowment of the Arts and stuff, and, and black community theater companies could go and reach out and get these kinds of monies to help uh, fund uh, their programs. And so you don't really have that so much now. A lot of the black theater companies are really, really struggling with that sort of thing, and so it's, it's time that you know, somebody either jumps up and you know, decides to, to fund these things and put money in, and, and uh, raise funds for these things, or it'll just not be happening anymore. Uh, what I think the plight of African American theaters in the United States, I think the plight is and has always been the inequities in um, funding, the uh, inequities in uh, space and um, I think uh, we are producing uh, on the sweat of actors. All of us across the country uniting together to do one thing for one you know specific goal and um, as a musician the most powerful thing that you can do is have everybody play the same rhythm at the same octave at the same time no harm it just bam it's so strong um, James Brown done it 101 times and so yeah. the power of everybody collectively one big strong voice saying the same thing at the same time can only bring attention and more importantly um, people other people can see us united together one voice one strong solid look what we're doing look what we're trying to say look what we're trying to do right now project one voice one voice one, one play. play one day june 20th june 20th june 20th june 20th 2011 save the date we love it. <laughs> For more information on how you can help Project One Voice or any of the theaters in our network, check us out at www.projectonevoice.org or on Facebook at Project One Voice or on Twitter at P1Voice.